So Samsung DeX is an amazing way of basically kind of getting a desktop-like experience from your Samsung phone onto a screen. And it's a fairly basic setup. You can do this wired or wirelessly. I'll show you how to use the wired method. But either way, it's a really cool thing. I'd recommend every single person to try it out. If you have a monitor that supports like HDMI to USB-C or some sort of way of connecting your USB-C iPhone or your USB-C Samsung phone to your display, I'd recommend trying it out. You will need a Samsung Galaxy S8 or newer, so the S8s are newer, they've had it since then, but any new modern updated Samsung Galaxy S series phone, fold, flip, uh, you know, one of those ultra phones, if you have an A series, some of them may support it, I'm not too, really too sure, but you can give it a try and see what's supported. So what you want to start off by doing is you want to make your way over into your Samsung application, your settings application right here, and you can just type in DeX just like this, and you should be able to see some sort of DeX option like this. And all you want to do is make sure Samsung DeX is enabled. You can come into here and you can go and make sure these things are enabled as it is right here. Now, what you want to do next is you just want to go through and find your USB Type-C cable that is you know, able to be plugged in here. You can plug it in via a dock, but in this case, I have my USB Type-C cable here plugged into my monitor on the other side. And I can go and plug it in just like so. And when you do that, you might get a little pop-up on your Samsung phone that might show something like, do you want to enable Samsung DeX or something like that? And all you're going to want to do there is just click on enable and click on accept. Now, what you'll see on your monitor right after you plug it in is you might see some layout like this. So now you can see you have your Samsung experience, your Samsung DeX on your particular you know, screen. And you'll see your Samsung phone here. Now, if you want to use your Samsung phone to actually modify this without using your keyboard, what you can do is you can swipe down from the top just like this. You'll see this little use phone as touchpad option right here. And all you want to do is tap on that. And now you can see you'll get into this little black you know, bar thing. If you go ahead and move this around, you'll see it'll also move around that cursor on your display. And you can double tap it just like you could on a desktop. So now what you can do is you can utilize Samsung DeX. So now using your touchpad, you can go and see your different settings and options that you have all throughout here. So if you want, you can double tap onto the settings application here to get access to your you know, settings app right here, which is really cool. And there's, a, there's so many endless things that you can do here. It's basically just like your Android phone. So you can see your Samsung DeX you know, settings right here. You can click on the exit button here if you want to. Now at the very bottom, you have your app library. So if you want to tap into here, you can see all the applications that you have inside of your Android phone. So you can tap right into here. You can open up your applications as you normally would. So if I wanted to open up Firefox, I can go and open up Firefox like this. Now what I can also do is I can go ahead and minimize these applications as well. And I'll be put into the bottom bar right here. You have your search bar here. If you want to, you can quickly search into your settings and search into other areas of your phone. Now on top of that, hopping out of here, you can go ahead and basically now hopping back out of here, you can go and see these three lines here. I'm sure they look familiar, your recents, your home button, and your back button. On the right side, you have a few different things. You have your mute, your vibration switch, your little you know notification panel, your Wi-Fi, uh, cell connection, your battery percentage, and the time and the date here. It's very crazy how this looks because it looks just like a desktop PC, which is so cool to see. Now on top of that, what you can do is you can now kind of do whatever you want to on your phone. You can go ahead and kind of use this as a device that you normally would, but you can also use your Samsung phone, you know, separately too. Like if you want to, if you're still on this panel, you can just swipe up and basically just come out of here. And if you have a wireless mouse or a desk, like a computer, like a keyboard set up with your screen or with your phone, you can go and utilize that instead of using your phone separately. Now, if you want to exit out of Samsung DeX, you have a few options. You can literally just unplug this and it will go ahead and unplug it. Or what you could do is you can power off your display and you can still keep this plugged in and charged if you want to. But realistically speaking, whatever you do on this won't affect this. But keep in mind, if you're planning on playing like super intensive games like Genshin Impact here and Call of Duty Mobile here, it's going to greatly you know, affect the performance of it. So keep that in mind. But that's kind of how you use Samsung DeX instead of a Samsung phone. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button. That would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.